Hello, this is Amjad Al Mandalawi from Baghdad, Iraq, illustrating the uses of Zabo technique and how to do the procedure. Basically, Zabo technique uses a second coronary wire to anchor the stent at the ostium of the vessel by passing this wire through the, mo the most proximal stent truss into the side branch. The first case is a 65-year-old man, non-diabetic, hypertensive, and smoker with a stable angina was scheduled for PCI to the LED. The angiogram shows a tight near osteal lesion of the LED. Obviously, if a stent to be deployed, it has to be deployed at the ostium. After pre-dilatation, a stent was positioned in the proximal LED. We can see the stent is moving in and out of the left main stem for about 5 mm. Pushing the stent misses the ostium, while pulling it make it in the left main stem. We have shown in a previous presentation what to do when we face a dancing stent. And at that presentation we made use of rapid pacing. Here we show the Zabo technique. The angiogram shows that the stent well positioned at the ostium of the LED and it is fixed by a second guide wire. This guide wire passes through the proximal struts and then into the left circumflex. So if you push the stent, it will not go beyond the ostium since it's hindered by the anchoring wire. And this is a schematic presentation of the same video. The stent was deployed. The second wire removed and the stent post dilated and this is the result. So how to do the procedure? Keep the stent inside the covering sheath, pull it just to expo expose two to three millimeter. Then inflate it at low pressure enough to flare that part, that is the most proximal stent cells. Thread the anchoring wire into the cell and hand crimp the stent again, then introduce it over both wires into the guiding cath. The second case was a 56-year-old diabetic and hypertensive woman with angina was a plan for elective intervention of the first OM. The angiogram shows stenosis near ostium of the high OM. The OM was wired and then predilated and the stent positioned. We can see the same thing happening. The stent is moving and in this case is moving up to the ostium of the left circumflex. We took out the stent and threaded the most proximal cell with another wire and reintroduced it. We can see it positioned and fixed well at the ostium of the OM. And this is the result after deployment. Zabo technique is not without some, some risk, and the risk is mostly related to stent deformation and stent dislodgement. To reduce that risk, some precautions should be exercised. First, the lesion should be predilated and prepared well before stenting, as there is no role for manipulation of the stent and the wire. Second, every attempt should be made to avoid entanglements of the wire. And third, when resistance is felt, force should not be used to push the stent. In this situation, the stent should be kept in the guiding cuff, and one of the wire, usually the main branch wire, should be withdrawn from the vessel to release the twisting and then reintroduced. The messages are, Zabo technique is useful for osteal positioning of a stent and also useful to immobilize the stent. Precautions should be exercised to avoid complication of this technique. And thank you.